it's me again, just just got out. And I just got out of the shower. Okay, let me let me go turn down this racket. I'll be right back. I'm back, so you might hear a little bit of it, but it's not as bad as my husband. I swear he must be deaf because he's just the TV. Anyway, so I'm not wearing any makeup now, but I did get a makeup subscription box, and it's my favorite box. Um, this is the Ice Cream Beauty box. Look at my sunburn. Oh, that reminds me. Someone asked me in my comments where I got my last blush from, and this is from... Delancey, and this is also from the Ice Cream Beauty box, and that's what I used, um, and it blends very well, and so anyways, this is my Ice Cream Beauty box, this is how she comes, comes with a card, and all these degradable, you can flush them in the toilet kind of thing, a little noodles or whatever you guys go ahead, took everything out and put it in the trash, and we are going to go over how much, I got five items. And um, I'll be damned. Two of them are from Gerard Cosmetics. Now I was really, really excited, you know, because I saw the spoiler alert, and I was really excited because it does come with a Beauty Moon Cosmetics. I love Beauty Moon. Um, I've only had one palette from her. I just don't have the money. You know, I just don't have the funds. Um, I I did buy one palette this year. You know, because I'm on a budget. So anyways, um, so for the May, how much did we get? Okay, so we've got 70, 80, 120, $125 worth of stuff. Okay, so this one here, um, Gerard Cosmetics. Um, I used to follow Jen Gerard and, um, she would always do because she would do donations for um puppies and stuff during christmas and that was just like i used to go on her lives and she's really sweet that is just my personal opinion i can't go off opinions like what other people have of her because if they went through with her i'm not saying it's true or not true i'm just saying it's from, from my opinion She's always been nice, but I kind of still stay a little distance from Gerard Cosmetics. Um, so this item here, this is BB Plus Illumination Facial Cream. So let's see. Uh, this, uh, it's... it's you will need to unscrew the cap and push the product until it appears. Okay. It just explains on here how it comes out. It says it's a certain kind of thing you have to follow on how to get it out of the bottle. Very nice packaging, though. I like that. My dog is underneath my table here. But I want to... It might come out watery. I want to see how, well, I'll be damned it does come out watery. But what are you supposed to do to make it come out normal? Give me a second. I said it, it's normal that it'll come out like that. That's what, but you're supposed to kind of do this and shake it up really well a few times and then, but it does sound very liquidy, doesn't it? And then it's supposed to come out normal. Okay, now it's getting a little thicker, but it's also getting on my nerves. All right, so I want to see. Let me put it on. I don't know why it's shining like a highlighter, but. Oh, yeah, it is shining like a highlighter. I don't want to wear this. <laughs> why did I put it on? <gasps> Okay, no, I don't think I'll be wearing this much. Um, yeah, I'll probably just give this to somebody. Okay, and it smells very weird. Very, very weird. Okay. I have a YouTuber friend. She likes it when I give her my empties, so I'm going to go ahead and give her, save her a little box of things. Um, okay, next item we have here is another drawer. 
uh, uh, cosmetics. Boy, it smells so weird. I'm trying to think of what, it smells like an old flower. It smells like a plant of some sort. Okay, anyways, let's keep on going. Color your smile. Let's see what this one says. Um, revolutionary product designed to bring glamour and ease to your beauty routine. A stunning array of shades. These lip glosses come in irresistible texture, semi sheer, and sparkling for luminous finish and highly pigmented opaque for a color as rich as liquid lipstick. Okay, so this is what color is this? Salmon. Mm. So we're going to have salmon and plants. I mean, this is just funny. Now, okay, so peel off. I've had one of her lip glosses before, and it was also like this with a nice, pretty mirror. And I, I love her lip liners. I, I have some of her lip liners, and they're really nice. So, it is a pretty color. Ooh, I'm going to try it on. I really like that. I'm not a pinky person, but this is, this is kind of, oh, this is nice. Okay, number one winner. Okay, so then I got three more products. I'm throw this away. Okay, so the next one, where is it, Beauty Moon? Okay, well, here's a gel liner from Appeal. This is $21. That's a normal price for a gel liner. I want to know. See, all these liners, people always talk about the liners have these things in the back where you can undo it. And then it turns into like a sharpener. I want to see if that's true. Because none of my other ones are. I don't think so. Let me see. Is my Gerard just cosmetic? Can I have it? Let me see. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. I can't even find how to get this, this one open, so... Give me just a second. Now here it is. That's pretty. And it's very soft. Here is that plasticky kind of wood, which I really don't trust. Um, is that a sharpener or not? No, it's not. There is no sharpener at the bottom of this one. I have yet to find one. I know that they say there are some out there. I'll put this away. Okay, so next up we have ooh, Loose Dual Chrome Powder by Beauty Moon Cosmetics. And that's what I was, it's $10 for this loose multi chrome. This is what she looks like in, oh wow, see that, that's pretty. It's kind of pinky. And, okay, so I took the top off. So let me just stick my finger in. And there she goes. Just gonna... Now that is so pretty. It's kind of sheer for Beauty Moon because of uh, the... Yeah, that, that's a pretty iridescent kind of chrome. Oh, I got something I got for that. Okay, so last one. When I saw this in the spoiler... And I, I, well, I judged a book. I'm judging a book by its cover, okay? It says the Illuminate Cappuccino palette from DD Signature. Okay, when I, when I heard, you know, coffee, cappuccino, mocha look or whatever they're doing right now, I was just like, do we actually really need another freaking brown palette? Like, how many years have we been doing this and this? Okay. I digress. I was wrong because apparently there are some duochromes in here too. So let's see what this about. This is what it looks like. Pretty holographic, right? This is not your typical <gasps> cappuccino palette. I mean, you can do your cappuccino look if you want to. This is a this is a Jessica palette. This is definitely. I love me some orange. And I love me some green and some yellow. Um, I'm not a pink fan at all, but we'll let that slide because I mean, look at that. Look at that brown, beautiful transition color. Now these are the chromes. Okay, so 
I see right here when I lay them like this, that this one is purple. But when I show you, it's green. So this one is kind of like, um, kind of like a rose gold. I want to show it to you. It's kind of like, it's, got, it's weird. Okay, so the orange is still the orange. So that's not really multi-chrome. We'll have to try it on the fingers. Yeah, we'll, we'll try it on the fingers. We're gonna do one, two. Look at those. So these to me, they do look gold and kind of, this does look like a darker orange with a lighter orange. Reminds me of a comet. And then it's kind of brown here and kind of gold. So yeah, I guess it does. Um, so I'll have to find a way to work it to make it look it like that. And then we have that one, which is more like a foil to me. Yeah. But it does have kind of like that gold. And then it's got that. Oh, that's beautiful. Look how rich that is. Look how long I can carry that. Okay. Now here's the blue and the green which is really pretty to me it looks like a really high shimmery green unless you do it like that you don't see the purple that much it just looks like it's dark and then it's green it's really nice i'm not saying it's not uh, but i really love the palette all together as it is completely the way it is um but when you want a, a real reflex from those colors Davina Cosmetics is where to go, but she pricey. I'm going to tell you, one shade of Davina Cosmetics, I think I paid for the black and red shift, uh, $25. And I paid for, I think, six shades, $80. Back in the days. All right, but I want to see how much this is supposed to cost because duochromes are really expensive. So this was not that expensive. This was $34. That is a really, really, really good price for an eyeshadow palette. So am I happy with this one? Yes, I am because I like this and I like this and I like this. Um, and I like the liner. This one here, even if it was beautiful, the smell is just, I just don't dig it. So she's going to, to a friend of mine. But anyways, what did you guys think? This box, uh, just to go ahead and mention it, everything in this box is $25. It's $25 flat with shipping and everything. Every month, every month you get a palette and it's most likely an indie brand. I love indie brands. So um, anyways, Thanks for watching my video. I miss you much. See you in the next one.